All right, so how long is too long when it comes to movies? And Variety released its covers for the 2023 Power Women series. Variety Chief Correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister joins us with more. Welcome. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you. So great to be with you. Yeah, great to see you. So, okay, so first, who are this year's nominees? Yeah, so we are so excited. Power of Women is my favorite event that we do every year. This year we are honoring Kelly Ripa, Natasha Leone. I'm going through the list, Michaela J. Today the cover that came out is Rosie Perez. I mean, we have great honorees this year. We're rolling out one each day this week. So make okay. sure to go to Variety.com to see those covers. Here we see Kelly Ripa. This dropped yesterday. The issues are all on newsstands today, actually. Great, and how did you choose these honorees? You know, every year we choose women because of their charitable efforts. So of course we know what these women are doing in the world of entertainment, but what you don't know, perhaps at home, is the charity work that they do. So Kelly Ripa, who I interviewed, I wrote this cover story. She works with an organization called WIN in New York City, which stands for Women in Need, and it is the top organization that helps house homeless women and their children and she's been working with them for 30 years since she was on all my children well wow. and, and she talks about the sexism that she endured a little bit earlier in her career tell us about that yeah so I spoke with Kelly Ripa and she was very raw and honest I encourage everybody to read the full interview because we of course can't get to all of it but as we all know Kelly Ripa has been on live with Kelly and Ryan obviously started as uh, live with Regis and Kelly for 22 years and she has been one of the top women in daytime for over two decades but what she really comes clean about in this is that while she had so much success was so famous on television as a superstar she was battling sexism behind the scenes she tells me that she didn't have her own office that she had wow. to ask beg for her own office when she asked she wasn't given one they cleared out a janitor's closet oh, and that's yeah. where she worked from she also tells me that she didn't have her own private bathroom which for people at home might sound like special treatment but in the world of tv certainly on a national show of that stature it's very typical to have your own bathroom in a dressing room regis philbin had his own and she didn't so she would stand in line with the audience members while she was pregnant at one point and would have to wait in line before she hosted the show. So she called these things needlessly difficult and she said that basically being naive was her superpower, that if she had not known how difficult it would have been, she doesn't think that she would be able to do it. But Kelly says the reason why she is speaking out about this, Marcy, is because she wants to be an example for other women. She wants other women to stand up for themselves in the workplace and know their value and be treated the same as the men are. Yeah, so glad that she's speaking up about this. Um, next, moving on, Matt Damon has a lot to say about the new Christopher Nolan movie. Tell us about this. Yeah, so Christopher Nolan has a movie coming out this year. It's called Oppenheimer. It is star-studded. Emily Blunt, Robert Downey Jr. It's an ensemble cast. The list goes on and on. Well, Matt Damon at the premiere of his movie, Air, with Ben Affleck this week, he told my colleague, my friend Mark Malkin, that he has seen Oppenheimer. He says it's fantastic, but it's three hours long. Now, Matt Damon, he says it goes by very fast and it's going to be fantastic. But I'm curious for you. I'm going to put you on the spot. How long do you think is too long for Three a movie? hours <laughs> is too long. I've watched a few. I feel like some of the Oscar nominated movies were really long and you yes. sit through them. But yikes. Um, we have to move on. We yeah. have a minute left. But uh, we want to talk about Succession season four. So many people love this show and, and it premiered to record ratings. It did. So I love Succession. I thought the season four premiere was fantastic. 2.3 million viewers watched live, which in this day and age is quite a feat. This was up from its last season premiere. It's pretty incredible for a show in its fourth season to keep growing and growing. And of course, now we see these shows everywhere from TikTok to memes. It feels like this show is quotable in every which way. So aside from those 2.3 million viewers, which doesn't include delayed viewing, this has really got into the pop culture zeitgeist. It feels like everybody is talking about it. Yeah, it really does. I mean, people just are obsessed. I am very late to the game. I just started watching it, but good to know that it stays that good, that it's, you have to stick with it and I, that many people are watching the premiere. It gets better. Keep watching. Okay. I'm telling you, it, you don't even believe the things that they say and what they do. Okay, I'll be watching. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Always you. so fun to have you here. And you can find more information about Elizabeth and Variety by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV. And now.